Welcome back to a third part of 5.1.1. I'm going to restart the problem we did not finish. And I was labeling my sides. And after I'd labeled my sides, I decided, okay, I'm using, I know the hypotenuse. I want to know the opposite. Which one uses opposite and hypotenuse? The sine. So I'm going to use this sine of the angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. And so sine of 25 needs to equal, um, let's see, opposite over hypotenuse. Let's see. X over 9. Put that over 1. Cross multiply, I get X. And I'm going to show you here how to multiply on this. The sine of 25 times 9. This way I don't have to write it in, but the sine of 25, make sure to close your parentheses or you will almost always get it wrong, times 9. That gives me 3.8, or it's about 3.8036. Okay, so that is how I do that one, and I, so I found that side. Let's look at another one. Chose this one just because the orientation was all kind of crazy. 5-5F. And so I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. I'm going to label my sides. So let's label them based on the angle I'm going to choose. Well, I'm going to choose the acute angle they gave me. This side is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. This side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent. Ask myself the two questions. What side do I know? Hypotenuse. What side do I want to know? Adjacent. Remember that, adjacent and hypotenuse. Which one uses the adjacent and the hypotenuse? Well that's going to be the cosine. So I would write this as the cosine of my angle put it over 1, equals, remember that the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So it's going to be x over 10. Cross multiply, I get x equals, and I'm using the shortcut now, which is going to be the cosine of 20 times 10. This works if your variable is on top, otherwise you have to do a little bit other stuff. And it's about 9.3969. Okay, now, I don't want to make this video too much longer, and so we're just going to look in the book, and I'm going to try to show you how I would choose which one to use. If I can get it to focus. Okay, on this one, B, we didn't, I don't think we did B. Well, we did do B. On C, I look at this. If I label my sides, this is going to be the opposite, and this is the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So it's opposite and adjacent. Opposite and adjacent will use the tangent. So opposite and adjacent will use the tangent. Then, if I look at D, if I label my sides, this is the opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent. Opposite and adjacent are going to use tangent. Uh, this, is not, this is not the one I did, so let's see what this one is. Here's the angle. So here's the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. So I'm using hypotenuse and opposite. Hypotenuse and opposite is going to be the sign. So I would set it up using the sign. Good luck with this. We'll do a little bit more on it in the next unit and uh, hope you have as much fun with trig as I do.